So, we saw that that the atmospheric pollution has two types in the sense that they are concentrated in two different regions and one of them is tropospheric pollution and the other is other is the stratospheric pollution and the stratospheric strato stratospheric pollution fine now we come to the tropospheric pollution so what is the tropospheric pollution okay now this too has has two types so one of them is the gaseous pollution and the other is the particulate pollution Now in the gaseous pollution, we have the oxides of, of sulfur, nitrogen, okay, then I have hydrogen sulfide, hydrogen sulfide, okay then the hydrocarbons hydrocarbons ozones okay in stratosphere they are a protector they are the shielders in the troposphere they become pollutants fine because they are actually toxic beyond a point the ozones are toxic and other oxidants and other oxidants fine in the particulate pollution we have we have the dust smoke mist smog okay fumes why are they called particulate because they have got small particles which are either visible by eye or or if not visible by eye they they when inhaled they have the property of sticking to the lungs okay so so they stick to the lungs to the to the lungs okay their nature is particle nature fine so they are they are quite 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 bigger than these gases fine so so now we come to the gaseous gaseous air pollutants gaseous air pollutants okay so the first of them is the oxides of sulfur oxides of sulfur <coughs> now now they are produced so so produced when fossil fuels fossil fuels containing sulfur are burnt containing
sulfur are burnt okay and and coal coal is coal uh, contains sulfur okay so so especially that and and we we uh, burn a huge amount of coal correct coal does contain sulfur and and it produces the most common is okay so most common gases most common is sulfur dioxide fine now the sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide is poisonous to both the the human beings plants and animals so so it is poisonous to both plants and animals that is that is one that is that is one the next is that it has the smell of rotten egg okay and even at very low concentrations it causes so many diseases <clears throat> okay okay so do not written even at small concentrations even at small concentrations cause respiratory diseases like asthma bronchitis hmm and even a more more severe condition called called emphysema emphysema okay normally we we hear even even small kids the newborn babies they are being born asthmatic right now <clears throat> now that is that is not a that is not a good sign of of the environment around us also it causes irritation to the eyes right here causes redness and irritation to the eyes okay <clears throat> now high concentration of high concentration of so2 high concentration of of SO2 SO2 causes stiffening of the flower buds flower buds which eventually fall off which eventually fall off okay now now if uncatalyzed the the uncatalyzed oxidation the uncatalyzed oxidation of sulfur dioxide is slow but but it very quickly 
gets converted into sulfur trioxide in the presence of ozone in the presence of in the presence of ozone and and oxygen okay <coughs> Or, or hydrogen peroxide or O2. Okay. So, okay. So, and presence of presence of particulate matter. Presence of particulate matter. Okay, it gets actually a, a bigger surface area, so undergoes a catalysis. So, SO2 plus O2 gives you SO3, okay, in presence of oxygen or, or also ozone or hydrogen peroxide. <coughs> so, so, so. Okay. In presence of ozone, it forms SO3 and O2. Okay. So, so it actually breaks the ozone. Fine. So it breaks the ozone. And and. SO3 is also yeah, a pollutant, yes, H2O2 that gives us H2SO4 and here it will cause, actually, actually SO3 is dangerous in other way, when there is rain then it straight away converts into H2SO4 <coughs> and, and causes an acid rain, so it is dangerous in that other form, fine. So, so this is how it gets converted, fine. <coughs>